Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. Today we're going to be continuing with Star Wars Armada as we have done for the past few weeks. We're going to be painting up these TIE Phantoms, continuing with what I did with the TIE Defenders yesterday. This is a very, very similar scheme, uh, almost exactly the same in fact. Um, but I just wanted to show you how it looks different on different style vessels and that the same scheme can be used across them all. Uh, if you've watched the Defender one you'll probably have seen very very similar uh, however the Phantoms are much easier to paint. Uh, before we get started on that painting though as usual let's get that kettle on. If you're one of the subscribers or you've been here before you'll know the first thing you want to do is give them a really good base coat. As you can see these are rebel vessels but don't worry we're going to be painting the Imperial TIE Phantoms as I've already said. Now all you need to do is stick them all on little sticks there, a bit of blue tack, holds them on, give them all a good spray with Gracie and you end up with something like this. Games Workshop's Grace here is definitely my go-to at the moment. I can't recommend it enough. It's really, really nice and thin. Goes on really easily. Sticks to it. No problems at all. And it allows you to use some of these contrast paints. Now, you could go with a lighter base spray from an alternate company, but I really do recommend the uh, Games Workshop's Grace here at the moment. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is paint this little stub just at the bottom. I'm going to do that black. And I'm, as you can see, I'm using Games Workshop's uh, Black Templar to do that. It goes on really, really nicely. Um, what this allows you to do is, is essentially that beast bit hides, um, you know, it disappears when you put it in the base there and allows you to actually then stick it in the base and you can actually get around the miniature a bit easier. Now what you can see here, I'm just going around following the panels um, on each, each one of these sort of wings. Uh, I'm just following these panel lines using Black Templar. It's dropping in really nicely. It sits against all those raised areas really, really well without any messing around. You, the, the, it's not completely black so they look quite effective one of the great things about Black Templar though is doing things like these windows because they're all like little recessed areas the Black Templar sits in them really really nicely uh, I find it so easy to paint with this contrast paint now um, I can't recommend it enough now as you can see they're really really bright still so what we're going to do is stick non oil over the whole thing now if you haven't seen my uh, tie defender video you, you wouldn't have seen this um, technique done before so es essentially what I did in the past when I painted uh, the top normal tie fighters I used a grey paint to do this but by using this uh, contrast uh, spray the, the grey sear and then sticking the normal over the top you're getting exactly the same effect with hardly any effort um, you'll see in a minute when we get the finished article this it's almost spot on the grey and it looks really really good and just to add in that little bit of detail I grabbed a, a green paint called um, Moot uh, Green um, and all I'm doing is popping that onto the edges of the um, sort of wings here like the weapon areas uh, and it just gives it a little bit of an interest it lights up really really nicely makes it look like it's glowing a little bit because it's so bright um, and it's it's better than just leaving it as that grey and black I've found now I've found some reference images that have a colour on the edge of these some reference images that don't I don't really know what's right but I think the green looks great and that's it, the miniatures are done. I think this paint scheme is really, really good. It's so simple, and we've used virtually no paints to get this um, colour scheme looking great. I think they're going to look absolutely brilliant on the table, much better than that boring plain plastic that they come in the box with. And it's such a simple and easy paint scheme um, to get them on the tabletop as quick as possible. So we can get some games in, and that's the main thing here, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boros and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.